Hello, good evening, friends. This is a day five tutorial, and welcome to our channel. Sorry for the delay in this video due to some circumstances. I was not able to upload, but now I'm, I'm, we are back, and we will continue our learning from day five. So till now we have completed the uh, our extraction, the basic basic extraction component like the file input delimited and the sub global where. Okay. So today topic is all about the T file output delimiter. This is the part of L in ETL, like extraction, transformation, and load. So we are going to learn about the load. So by the name you can understand T file output delimiter is trying to load some data into file. Okay, that's why it is known as the load component. And this is output file. So uh, by the name itself we can understand its so functionality. So suppose I have taken a database. At uh, here I am. I have taken uh, my uh, Salesforce as a database source. Okay. So source can be anything. It is a file. It is some database. Anything. And uh, now what I will do that I will try to extract some data and load into uh, my output uh, output file. Okay. Now with the name only. Uh, just type T file output. Uh, with the related output, uh, whatever the component available, you will be getting the pop-up. Okay, so select delimited because I'm going to uh, store the data in CSV format or text format. That's why I'm selecting the delimited. If you want something in XML or XLS file, then you can select the file out output uh, Excel. Okay, so that is your choice. Functionality is same. That's why I'm just uh, going with uh, one component. That is your CSV format, delimited format. Now, please uh, be careful while working with T file output delimited. First of all, you need to select the your output location, right? Uh, this is my location, and uh, I want to what I want to write as a name. So let's take output one file name, and see here. There is there any extension? No, no. So first of all, include header. Header will be helpful to know uh, the column name and click on this sync schema. So it will sync your schema from this component to this component automatically. You don't need to do it manually. If you click on this, you will be able to see the all uh, list of columns. Now just click it. Okay. Let's, uh, we haven't provided the uh, type of this file. Okay. We had just provided the file name. So whether it will work or not. Let's take it. So uh, why this is important? Because this component gives you variety of uh, options to generate your uh, output file. We're going to see that, okay? Hmm. So will it work or not? Because we haven't provided any file extension to the file. Oh, it's worked. Like it is here, exit code equals to zero. So it means this is completed successfully. Let's check the location of the file. So this is my location. And now uh, with the name of output one, see, I we haven't selected any extension of this file in the uh, that file uh, uh, section name. So that's why there is no extension, no type of uh, no uh, type mentioned here. Only file is mentioned. So when you will click, uh, right click here, and uh, if you try to open with the notepad also, will it, will it be able to? Yeah, it is able to. So this is great news. So this will work, okay? Because you have uh, uh, made it through the T file output delimiter. So you can either now provide a uh, .csv and now run the same job, okay? So will it run or will it create new file? Or we'll just override that existing file only with the exchange in extension. Let's check it. So question was, will it create a new one or existing one? So there is no error. That means it will it created new file in the same location with different. So we have two out same file name with different type of extension. So this is OK. But what I want to know that if again I run this job, okay, so I want to create again same uh, output file with same extension. Will it work or not? Let's check it. Okay, see, there is an error. And the error is the particular file which we are uh, trying to generate uh, already exists. 
so it is showing an error this is this file already exist and it is also suggesting you uh, how can you improve this uh, error if you want to overwrite the file because you know sometimes what happens that our job fails and instead of creating new file name we simply overwrite the file with the new data so for that just click on the component here and go to the advanced setting and there is an option okay first of all there are two very important option first of all there is a auto this this is by default uh, checked throw an error if the file already exists so you have to uncheck this now whenever you will run the job it will keep overriding the same file again and again it will not create new file okay it will not uh, add the data uh, add the data i mean it, it will not append the data it will create from the new from the beginning level only so i hope this is clear and there is one uh, checkbox also don't generate empty files sometimes what happens when our job run and there is no data into the file but still it create a file of 1 kb in that case we are just wasting our space in our uh, system right so we can use this option uh, to to have a optimized flow right that if there is no data don't generate the file output file in my location it will waste my space right so this is a very good option which uh, personally i feel so now we can uh, run the job because we have unchecked that option that if file already uh, already exists just override it now what will happen it will run or not so definitely it going to run with the same file name with the same extension without any error so if you want to check the data you can check it data is absolutely perfect there is no uh, error in the data it will be from the beginning okay so uh, if you want to check uh, like at present this it, it has 100 records right because 101 1 for column so what i'm going to do is that i will again run this job so this i am telling you because uh, with the help of this check box Date, your data will not get appended appended means it will not get key, uh, your rows will not get keep uh, adding on it it will start from the beginning level so yeah this is same file i want to see the last number of row so is it 101 yeah so we are okay with that okay i hope this is very clear now next thing is that there are two scenario we have covered now suppose the uh, suppose somehow my uh, i want that uh at presently we were uh, fetching 100 records okay so i want by default that i have to split the files into uh, into 10 records like i have a criteria that uh, please generate multiple output files and each output file should be uh, containing maximum 10 records so what i will do that there is an option in the advanced setting of the t file output delimited split output in several files so this is a by default option provided you by the talent this is very this is very good option okay this uh, saves your uh, your uh, important time or also flow also i have uploaded a video also where we can split the record uh, with the flow talent flow also but this is by default option given by the talent itself so by checking this uh, check box you can select the number of in each output output file suppose i want 10 10 records in every file so what i will do i will select here 10 because i want to want only 10 uh, rows only and this will not include your header please remember it okay now according to my uh, this generate 100 okay 100 uh, 100 uh, data is coming through it so i should have 10 files right now what will be the naming of the file right i am providing output 1 so what will the naming of the output file next file let's check it i just check that box split the file okay and i am running the job what will happen in my uh, file location first of all job is okay or not yeah job is perfectly okay now i want to check my output file if you can see this is my output file one which is the file name i provided by default okay now next thing is that the file generated so this is the timing right i have provided the output output one as a file name oh and it it separated the file into 10 uh, files you can select that right 10 10 records in every file 
Now, most important thing that in output file, it automatically add the sequence. You can see that output one is by default file name, which I provided in the section in the parameter, right? But talent itself provides the sequence with the automatically splitting, splitting the output file. Do you get that? So this is a very uh, best approach, okay? If, if there is no extra requirement from your client and you can simply by checking this box, your problem will get solved. So yeah, if you want to check the data also, is there the same data or other data, uh, different data you can check also. Data will be absolutely correct. There's no issue in the data. Okay, so yeah, data is very good different data so for from this we can understand that yeah the file output delimited is giving you variety of option to go work on your file now next thing is that there is an option called append you can see that right what happens append option by checking the append uh, append box by the name itself it it will uh, suggest you that keep appending coming data into same file again and again now what I will do that I will first of all uncheck this uh, box and I will delete all other the all other files. Now I will run the job. Okay. First of all, very simple uh, file. Okay. Right. Hmm. Now I'm just check the append box and now I'm just running the uh, this one job. What happened now? You will see an interesting. Uh, it is very simple to understand by its name itself. It will append your data the number of time you will run the job. Now, it uh, there is a hundred records in your T file output limit, and what it it is showing you twenty point eight four rows per second. So this is per second it is extracting this much of this number of rows. See my file file output generated. Now just check the data. Total number of records in the file is one zero one. Okay, you can see that now when I will run the same job again with the option checked as append, what will happen here? Will the number of records change here? Because it will append, right? So that number of records should be starting from 102. You want to see that? Okay, so this one is completed and it populated that this file has been modified. Okay upload yes and now you can see the last number of rows as 201 perfect so i hope it is clear that what does the append box means and what does the other advanced setting of this component means to you and this is csv options this is custom buffer this is t stat statistics t stat statistics help this is available in every component uh, in the talent and this helps you to know the uh, statistics of this component like when it is started uh, okay when it ended and uh, all the other days we will uh, discussing in future when we will covering up the audit part so I hope this is very clear to all of you. And uh, uh, yeah, this is very important tool because uh, your, you need to store your data in some file, right? And this, uh, this, this uh, component have same functionality as T file output XLX. So you, there's an assignment which you can try. Try same thing with your T file output Excel uh, component and do let me know if there is a, a, any issue. And thank you for watching uh, the video and st uh, stay healthy, stay happy and keep learning. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye.